Hello, old girl. Hello, Daniel. What's up? Well, DOA, I feel that you deserve a ch ch lovely change as a reward for your hard work. So since you're my private engine, we're going on adventures together. Thank you, Daniel. But who will look out to my passengers while I'm away? Agatha Fox has brought our her number one engine, Ben the Fairburn Tank, to assist. And I'm sure the other engines can manage the w on their own. Anyway, our first adventure will be on Queen Collier's Kingdom. Thomas, Percy and James work there now. Oh, brilliant! Where do we head there? First thing tonight. Once we get there, you'll get a good night's sleep and start work in the morning. It's not usually this quiet at night. There's usually an owl hooting or some little critters running around. What's that? Ah! A giant snake! Hello, DOA! Welcome to the Collie Kingdom! Uh, thanks, Thomas. What's up, Duchess of Athol? You look as if you've seen a ghost! Well, I... I saw something. I... No, I can't tell you. You only laugh. Oh, come on, Duchess of Athol! You can tell us! Well, on my way here, I saw something moving in the bushes by the line. What was it? Well, it wasn't a ghost. It was a monster. Ha! You saw what? I saw a giant snake. And when I say giant, I don't mean it as in the green and the color. I mean huge! You're acting like you've seen a titanoboa. A what? A titanoboa. What's a titanoboa, Thomas? Well, from what my driver once told me, Titanoboas are massive snakes that lived in the days of the dinosaurs. They were even big enough to constrict some of the dinosaurs. From what I've heard, their coil's constriction feels like the weight of three Eiffel Towers. Three Eiffel Towers? Oh yes. They were strong enough to even crush an engine. I must have seen a Titanoboa! Well... Uh, the way, I won't rue anything out. But surely it can't have been a titanoboa that you saw. They were extinct along with the dinosaurs. But I saw one! Oh, Duchess of Athol, you're not taking this info of Tintamboa seriously, are you? I'm not going back out there until daylight. Well, she could have seen something. It might have been a titanoboa. Don't be so stupid, Percy. Tintamboas doesn't exist anymore. Thomas said so himself! Watch out for the Tin Tamboa, Duchess of Athol! It might gobble you up! <laughs> I knew I should have told you, I just knew it. Don't listen to him, DOA. He'll get his comeuppance. Thomas? You believe what I saw, don't you? Well, I don't know exactly what you saw, but I do believe that you saw something. I'm just not sure what it was. I suppose. Well, at least this time I won't go crashing into a cart of white stuff. Huh? W what's that?
uh, uh, what, what was that? I don't know why, but I all of a sudden feel like I'm not alone. <gasps> Santa's and Ashes! The Titan of Power! Get me out of here! Tintown Bower in nowadays. What a joke! Oh my! It's never usually this quiet at night. I mean, what? Oh, that'll be nothing. Don't worry. from here until daylight. Far too dangerous up there. I'll sleep here at the freight yard tonight. Oh my blurber, Daniel! What the heck was that? Oh no. Your tender is off the line, DOA. There must have been a branch on the track. You can't go forward and you can't go back. Not to worry, I've got my phone on me. I'll call for help. Oh, good. <sighs> I hate to say this, old girl, but I'm afraid help isn't coming until the morning. So you'll have to stay here for the night. Oh, brilliant. That's all I need. What was that? Uh, oh, it's probably just the wind. Yeah, that's what it'll be. Oh my gosh! It's... it's the Titanoboa! Oh no, 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 no! Don't constrict me! There are things I want to do! Signs I want to see! Please don't- Why would I want to constrict you? Um, who are you? Oh, of course! My name is Queen Tyrana! I'm the Titanobo and Naga Queen! Oh! Royalty! I'm Duchess of Athol. Pleased to meet you, Your Majesty. Likewise! Now what were you screaming about? Oh, I'm truly sorry for screaming in your face. I thought you were an actual Titanoboa. You gave me quite a scare. I didn't mean to frighten you. I was just slithering around minding my own business. Anyway, what are you doing out here in the middle of the night? My tender came off the line and I can't get home. Oh dear. Not to worry. I'll get you back on track. Wow! You Titanic Boas are a lot stronger than I thought, Tyrena! I'm only half Titanic Boa! <laughs> <laughs> I hope we don't run into the Titanoboa again, Thomas. Me too, Percy. Me too. Oh, Thomas! Percy! I saw the Titanoboa last night! We've all seen it! So big and scaly!
Warren, guys, what's up? That is a baffle. You were right. There is a Titambo out here. Yeah, slithering all over the place. I saw it too. <laughs> well, guys, it's more of a surprise than a Titanoboa. Uh, what do you mean? Well, for starters, what we saw was only half Titanoboa. We still don't know what you mean, Athol. We don't even know what we saw now. I do, and here it is. You, your Majesty. So you're the monster. I'm not really a monster, but I am the one that's been slithering around everywhere. I am truly sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I was just fascinated by you. British steam engines once moved. I moved to live here. Again, I didn't mean to scare you, but I have to admit, you looked pretty funny when I scared you. Funny? You nearly scared my dumb off. Well, I wasn't scared. You weren't scared? Um, well, maybe just a little bit. But anyway, you're an amazing que creature to Queen Tyranna. <laughs> and we're glad you're not really a monster. I suppose I owe you an apology, Duchess of Athel. I shouldn't have been so rude. And I suppose I can forgive you. Or maybe I should. Oh, come off it. You were still wrong about there being a Titamboa. Well, partly wrong, yes. Well, I think Duchess of Athol is a respectful and brave engine. She makes a great friend. <laughs> now that's an unusual friendship. Yeah, I'm sure we'll make great friends of Tyranna too. Knowing that we'll never live in fear of her again. Well, she won't be scaring me again, that's for sure.